Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to bring to you the new Mythic Plus affix for our season of 8.3. It is corrupted, and I say it is my pleasure because this is really fun. Thank God. Thank God. When we moved away from infested to just being able to AoE everything, that was kind of fun because it certainly wasn't a hassle. Uh, that's the last thing I would say about that one. But then we went back to Beguiling, and it was a hassle again to do Mythic Plus. This time around, though, not all long, no. Not only is this not a hassle, it's actually fun. It's actually really cool. So they're calling it Corrupted, and essentially it's doing two things. One, it's not getting in your face, and it's also looking at ways of preventing things like Shroud uh, from the rogues to be a big problem. So what is it? I'll explain it really simply. Inside each dungeon, there are four obelisks. They are placed around the dungeon. Likelihood is they will move position and stuff each week, uh, similar to what we've seen with literally every other mechanic they've added to Mythic Plus in terms of the affix. You will only get this at Keystone Plus 10. I'll also remind here that when the new season starts that the dungeon key levels will shift. So the 12 we're doing right now is like a 15, 16 on live, something like that. Not difficult, uh, but certainly something we were messing around in to see what we could test. And these four obelisks are located around dungeon. You can see them on the map. And essentially, they have a mini boss with them. A little mini void boss. Now, you can do all these obelisks. Or you can skip them. Or you can do some of them. Or you can do none of them. It's entirely up to you. It's entirely up to you. But if you do not deal with these. So if you just go in there and the dungeon runs perfectly normally as if there was no affix. Once you get to the last boss, you will see there are four obelisks in front of the boss, and all four of the bosses will spawn as you pull the last boss. So if you don't do any obelisks, you have to deal with these. Everyone you kill reduces one of the bosses that are at the end. They're not very difficult to kill. They have a variety of mechanics. You can see which one you're going to fight before you go in there. So some of them have tentacles. Some of them have eyeballs. Some of them put tumors on the floor. Some of them have stalks that slow you and mind flay you. But overall, they're not particularly difficult because they're not supposed to be particularly difficult. In fact, what they are allowing you to do is to create void tunnels, little wormholes between different parts of the dungeon. Yes. So these work by clicking the portal. That's going to take you into the Void Realm. And in the Void Realm, all you have to fight is the boss and his minions. It doesn't matter that there's all kinds of trash near it. It doesn't matter, although I will point out you have to be out of combat in order to click on these obelisks. Wherever you kill that mini boss, wherever he actually falls to the floor and puts his face in the dirt, that will create an extra portal that you can come out of. So you can drag this boss anywhere you want without fear of pulling any trash, kill it on top of the next boss if you want to, and as soon as you pop out, you'll be at the next boss. And then you can go back into the portal and come out again the other side. I said there were four of these obelisks, which means in total you can create eight portals, and they all link together. So if you go to obelisk one, go into it, that creates your first doorway. You kill that boss wherever you want, that creates your second doorway. You come out, you go and kill the next void boss, and what you can't do is just go from void boss to void boss to void boss. You can't do that. You have to come out and click on the obelisk in order to activate that boss. And then you will go into there, that creates doorway three. Kill the next mini boss wherever you want. That's doorway four. And you can go from doorway four to doorway one, from two to three. It doesn't matter. You can create all these gateways within the dungeon that you can mount up, you can run around, you can do whatever you want to do. It's absolutely fine. Your trash will never pull. And this allows so many fun options for skips and things, if that's something you want to do. But vice versa, if you're not into skips, you're just looking to get your plus 10 done each week, whatever it might be, then they're just simple little extra mini bosses. They give about 2%, uh, two percentage each. You just pop in. You're there for about 30 seconds while you kill it, if not less. Then you pop back out in exactly the same place. And it's as if you've just got a normal standard dungeon that you would find in Mythic Zero or you would find in Heroic. The same layout, just with the extra affixes that would be your bolstering or bursting or whatever it might be. It's really that easy. And it's actually a really fun system because I cannot wait to see what the guys come up with in terms of utilizing these portals because it's kind of fun. It's really fun. We already were starting to think it's like, okay, so we can put a portal down here a portal down over there and then we can get another portal over there and that means we can skip all this trash by killing the next obelisk and working our way back around and this opened up loads of fun options to do did it need to happen no we could do the standard route that we've always done through a tal desire and we'd be fine we'd be absolutely fine but now we have options to do extra things to skip certain things and obviously we don't have to rely on things like rogues we don't need people to go and pull trash out of the way so we can run past because we can create a skip of our own in order to get around it. 
This is really fun. I don't need to spend more time on this. A little five minute overview is all you need to know and then your imagination will take you where you need to be. I will point out that similar to when the Buan Samdi buff was in the game, you could speak to Buan Samdi if you depleted to get a buff. There is now a fish and the fish will do exactly the same thing as Buan Samdi should you want him to. So there you go guys, a little five minute overview of this affix. I need to say no more. This is really simple, it's really fun and I quite like it. This makes me have, This makes me hopeful for Mythic Plus going forward. I can keep my Mythic Plus as simple as I want it to be or as complicated as I want it to be and it's absolutely fine. Thank you very much for listening. I'll see you again. Bye-bye.